everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and happy Friday. I'm coming to you a little bit late today but only because I was waiting for this wonderful new pattern to be released. So I needed to wait until the pattern designer uh, Pattern Scout released the pattern before I had my video go up. So apologies it's a little bit late. Um, but it is Friday and before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video I do want to say today's Love Notion Feature Friday pattern which is five dollars today only. Um, it is actually three patterns. It is the Constellation, the Navigator, and the North Star, North Point. Um, it's the sweatshirt, the quarter zip sweatshirt for women, men, and children. I've made this a couple of times for my kids. Um, I've not made one for myself, but I've made it a couple of times for my kids. Lovely pattern. Great instructions for the quarter zip. It's a it's a really lovely one, and it's five dollars today only. Perfect for this time of year because it's nice and cuddly and warm. Okay, so just wanted to put that out there. You can also use my code uh, Tomcat10 for an additional ten percent off the sale price off that five dollars if you so choose. So you can get all three of those patterns for fifteen if you wanted to, which is a very exciting thing. Okay, <laughs> if you have any like in between, well, we're almost to New Year's. If you have any, like, <laughs> winter projects that you want to get into. Okay, let's get started with today's video. Guys, for the first time ever, I pattern tested for Pattern Scout. Um, I have made a couple of Pattern Scout's patterns. Um, it's hard to say, Pattern Scout's patterns, but I have never been a tester for them, um, and I'm part of their newsletter because I've purchased from them before. Um, I've made their cozy jacket, I have made their fern top, um, both regularly and with the expansion um, neckline, and had really great experience with both of those patterns. Um, and anyway, an email went out asking if for testers for this newest pattern. And I have been looking for a vest pattern, and one of the things that I love about Pattern Scout is that they do um, cup sizes. So when this came up, I was like, oh my gosh, this is exactly the perfect time <laughs> when I'm wanting this pattern. So I quickly applied and um, got into that pattern test or into this pattern test. So I'm very excited today to talk to you about the Birch Vest. This is Pattern Scout's newest uh, pattern and it works so perfectly with my cotton twill plans. You guys saw what I did with the pants. Well, I'll be showing you how I styled this vest here two different ways here in just a second. But I, obviously, I had to make the pants and the vest that match. And you guys saw the pants, my Miriam trousers last week, or on Tuesday. So um, here is the vest. This is what I was hinting at. <laughs> All right, so this is a fully lined vest pattern. It comes in cup sizes B, C, and D. Um, it comes with an upper bust. I'm just going to check over here real quick on my computer. Upper bust uh, range from 29 to 54. Full bust range from 31 to 58. Um, and a hip of 35 to 60. So it's got a really great pattern or a size range that's in there. Um, this is a close fitting vest. There's very little ease in it. Um, because you can wear it without anything underneath it if you want. So the armholes are nice and high. So if you wanted to wear this as a shirt, you could. Just like Lena has it on here today. Um, I've paired it over things, but which obviously you can do as well, but um, it can be worn alone. So that was kind of the whole thing with the vest. So it features princess seams, both in the front. We've got princess seams in the front and in the back, and a beautiful center back seam to get some beautiful shaping in through the back. Um, it is fully lined. It is fully lined. I did four buttonholes, obviously, four buttons and buttonholes. Let me show you the lining. This is um, my Distachify lining, and I still have enough of this left and enough, I think, enough of the cotton twill to do a jacket, which, oh my gosh, three piece suit. Can we say yes? So it is fully lined, um, and that is the Distachify lining I, I used. I couldn't show this to you on Tuesday, so <laughs> here it is. Um, Yes. Okay. Let's talk about what size I made. I made the size 12 with a D cup. And the only modifications I made was that I shortened the body of it by an inch because I needed that waist to hit me where my waist hits so that I didn't have any weird pulling or anything. So I wanted the smallest part of the pattern to be the smallest part of my body. I did grade from a 12 to a 14 at the waist because I have a thicker waist. It's just what it is. And honestly, looking back at pictures, um, I've got a little bit of pulling just at my lower back, um, horizontal pulls. 
that just means I need a little bit of extra room there. Um, I think that gets people get confused with that with sway back adjustments, um, which that could be, you know, it could be that you need a sway back adjustment, but I honestly think what I need in that situation is just more width um, through my waist. So that's an easy thing for me to add just a little bit more. And you have so many seam lines to add, like maybe a quarter of an inch on each of my seam allowances. Maybe not even that much. Maybe just like an eighth because that would be quarter, half, one. Yeah, that would be a lot. So yeah, just like an eighth of an inch on each of your seam lines and you could easily give yourself enough room um, and that would true up really easily as well. So just need to add a little bit more room around my waist, not a ton, just a little bit. Um, obviously I'll wear this as is because I really enjoy how this one fits, but I think for my next one, a little bit more around the waist, especially if I were gonna use a little bit thicker fabric, I think this would be fantastic in a wool. Um, and now I want all the matching sets. Now I wanna try the vest with a pair of pleated pants. There's quite a few of those out there right now. So stay tuned on what happens with that. And when I get a jacket made up in this fabric, um, it may be that I also need matching jackets with my vests. We'll just see. Um, I love that it's a masculine um, aesthetic. You know, a vest, a waistcoat feels very um, masculine, but when it's put on a curvy body, well, I mean, it doesn't have to be put on a curvy body, but I love it on my curvy body with my boobs. Um, I just think that it gives a, a femininity to something that is typically more masculine. Anyway, I'm a big fan, really loving all of this. All right, I'll start showing you how I've um, uh, styled this as well. So the another great thing about a vest or a waistcoat, whatever you would like to call it, um, probably depending on where you live in the world, but it is fantastic for layering. Obviously, you could wear it as is. I think that would be wonderful in the summer. Um, honestly, I mean, that could be something really cool for even like a wedding. If you did like a monochromatic look of the vest with a pair of pants and like a um, even a summer weight wool, uh, tropical weight wool, that would be wonderful and beautiful. And um, I mean, how it's so classic. Um, I've been pairing it over things. I mean, we're also in the dead of winter and no one needs to be seeing my um, flesh at the moment because it is Indiana pasty. So <laughs> not that I tan, because I don't. But there's just a difference between skin that sees the sun on a daily basis versus skin that does not. So anyway, even with all the appropriate SPFs on. Um, anyway, I obviously have paired it with my um, Take the Chance shirt dress. I think it's so much fun and gives that shirt dress. I love the colors in that shirt dress, but it kind of brings a brightness to that fabric, um, which I just think is beautiful. Uh, big fan of that. And then obviously pairing it with my Miriam trousers, like how can you go wrong with this outfit? My husband, <laughs> when I came out for him to take the photos, he's like, you are very bright. And I said, I am, I am very bright. And fun fact, we are filming this on Thursday the 22nd. So I did a whole bunch of pre-recording just so I could take the week between Christmas and New Year's off. Um, just to be with my family and so we're filming this on Thursday the 22nd and um, he took the pictures then and if you are in the Midwest you know that there's a gigantic snowstorm coming this way blizzard like conditions um, I have no idea if that came to fruition or not we're still waiting for it to hit but we got those pictures just before the rain started so here in my area it's supposed to be rain then go dramatically to snow and then the negative 35 degree um, wind chill with the high winds, 40 to 50 mile per hour winds is supposed to kick up later this evening. So that's something fun that we get to look forward to. But I just got this in right in the nick of time. And I said, yes, I am bright. And it is a very gloomy, dreary day. And who doesn't need a little bit of bright in this gloomy, dreary day? And I love this color on me. It's a color I never in a million years wore before having my colors done. And I think it brightens me up so much. This is a similar color to my title, um, uh, t-shirt dress that I that I had that my husband's shorts ruined um, similar color when I get compliments on it all the time so um, it's a great color I love this color I don't care and I may if I can get a jacket out of this fabric have a three-piece suit out of this fabric and I'm not going to apologize for it I'll wear all three pieces separately I'll wear them together <laughs> and there you go that is uh, how I'm choosing to live my life so <laughs> bright color technicolor Anyway, this pattern is on sale for the next week, 20% off. So definitely go grab that if you're interested. If you also have been looking for a good fitted vest pattern and one if you need to make full bust adjustments commonly, perfect. It's already done for you. Um, it's just a, a very simple sew. And it uses like a yard of fabric. 
even narrow. Even if you've got like 45 inch wide fabric, it only uses a yard. So it's a great scrap buster. So definitely head over, take a look um, at all the different testers patterns as well on the website and uh, yeah, have a, yeah, have a look, but I am sold. <laughs> Very pleased with my vest. Again, it made up super quickly. I also think this would be fun if you did this in a wool. Instead of doing machine buttonholes to do bound buttonholes, if you've never done a bound buttonhole, this would be a great project to um, practice on because you know it's, it, you're not, it's not like a jacket where you're putting in all this time and then you do the bound buttonholes and you're cutting into the front of the jacket and you know this is using minimal fabric. It would be a great place to try and do some bound buttonholes and I actually have a tutorial for that already on the channel. So um, yeah, if you're interested in how to do a bound buttonhole. All right, that's all I've got for today on this Friday. It's a quick one, but you know, we're ramping up here to the to New Year's and um, I hope that you guys have a wonderful New Year's. I actually have a full video for you on Sunday. Um, so Vlogmas is over now, but on Sunday, I'm going through kind of a quick round a wrap up of 2022, things I'm grateful for in 2022, and then some plans for 2023. And I'm revealing a little bit more of some secret stuff that is happening in 2023. So you definitely want to make sure you uh, clue into that video on Sunday. And then next week I have a video going up on Monday and Friday instead of Tuesday and Friday because something exciting is happening starting on Monday. Um, so I've got a video to help kick that off. So there you have it guys. <laughs> Lots of fun and excitement coming to you here at the end of the year. I hope you guys have had a wonderful holiday season. I hope you have a very fun and safe New Year's. Ours is going to be extremely low-key, just with family, um, and very comfortable clothing and steaks. So <laughs> I hope you guys have something similar. All right, guys, that's all I have. Happy New Year, and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.